Well, just as the last several months have gone, we're back in a roller coaster. Today, the news headlines are all about how Nancy Pelosi and the Senate Republicans are not willing to accept Donald Trump's and the White House's $1.8 trillion stimulus package that they proposed just yesterday. Welcome to your second stimulus check update and your second stimulus package update for Saturday, October 10th. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Let's jump into this a little bit deeper. So yesterday, President Trump, Trump <laughs> came back with a $1.8 trillion stimulus package offered to the Democrats, specifically to Nancy Pelosi. She had offered a $2.2 trillion stimulus package. And previously, the Republicans had offered a $1.6 trillion stimulus package. So I had said a few weeks ago, I thought maybe they would land a deal around 1.8 or 1.9 trillion. Not trying to toot my own horn, but boop, boop, just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, just because it's in the middle, right? 1.9 trillion is right in the middle of 1.6 and 2.2 trillion. So that's why I thought that's what they would do. So he offered 1.8 trillion and basically Nancy Pelosi has said, nope. She said, quote, that's one step forward and two steps back. I don't really get why it would be two steps back. It's just a figure of speech, I guess. But she did say, quote, at this point, we still have disagreements on many priorities and Democrats are waiting language from the administration, the White House, on several provisions as the negotiations on the overall funding amount continue. Pelosi wrote in a letter Saturday to the White or to the House Democrats. So she just communicated that today to her fellow Democrats that they are still negotiating. It's mainly from that and what I believe is terminology within the bill, how they're gonna allocate the money and really specifying like defining the words and where it's going to go so that money isn't just left out there, not used and whatnot. So that's kind of how it sounds from her statement. Mark Meadows spoke with the Senate Republicans and they kind of said to him, hey, whoa, 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 we aren't willing to spend all of this money. We're wanting to spend less money. And he and Steve Mnuchin were like, hey, but you're going to get a lot of backlash if you guys don't pass something. And essentially, Democrats aren't going to accept anything less, obviously, not even down to $1.8 trillion. So that's kind of where it stands. I don't think Nancy Pelosi is totally opposed to maybe $1.8 or $1.9 trillion. I think she just really wants to get the terminology set the way that she wants it so that money can go to certain areas, just like the Republicans do. The Republicans want the same thing, and that's why they're negotiating. So I, I don't know that it, <laughs> either side is to blame in this scenario. They both are kind of a little bit crazy in their requests and their negotiation tactics. I believe that Trump yesterday was trying to make some sort of headline, some sort of move forward, and and that's why he offered the 1.8 trillion as as a new number. Um, maybe they'll meet at two trillion now because now that's in the middle. <laughs> I don't think Senate. Uh, Republicans are going to like it very much anyway, so that doesn't matter. Again, I've said this several times, there's 53 Republicans in the Senate, there's 47 either Democrats or people in the middle who would vote for more money. You only need a handful of re Republicans from the Senate to flop to get something passed, and I think we can do that. I think we can get something passed with a handful of Republicans. I don't think we need the far-right Republicans to get a larger stimulus package passed. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about the White House and Nancy Pelosi agreeing on a stimulus package. Once they're able to do that, I think it'll go. It'll definitely go from there. Uh, many of you have said this in the comments and it's totally true 100%. It'd be political suicide for any individual in the Senate or the House to shut down a bill that Nancy Pelosi and the White House has agreed on. So that's where everything stands. It's not the best news, it's not terrible news, it was kind of expected, honestly, but we're moving forward. I think negotiations are gonna go somewhere good over the next week. 
who really knows? It's kind of like a roller coaster we've never ridden before, and it's a long one. So let's hang on till the very end. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Enjoy it. Take some time to do something for yourself. Do something for somebody else if you'd like it. It always helps me to feel better. Take care, guys, and I will see you in the next, uh, the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>